Now I never thought that I would film a video saying this to you all, but I literally had my worst luxury shopping experience ever at Gucci. And you know, luxury shopping, like it's an interesting thing. I think I've been really fortunate because for the most part, I've had really positive experiences whenever I go into somewhere like Gucci, Chanel, Prada, whatever. I mean, for the most part, sales associates have always been really kind, really helpful. And you know, like they might have a little bit of like a tood, like they might be, you know, a little so-and-so, but they've always been really willing to help and they've always still made me feel welcome. And this is the antithesis of what happened. So I just wanna share my experience because I feel like a lot of times I talk about like the positive sides of luxury and why I love it so much. And you know, I just wanted to share this story to like let you know that this kind of stuff happens to all of us and it's really not right and it makes people feel really bad. So I hope that maybe if anyone who works in the luxury retail space is watching this, maybe just like don't do what this person did to me because it was awful and it really stopped me from making a purchase that day. So you all know I currently live in San Francisco and I have lived in lots of different big cities and I think that that might actually play into the reason why, generally speaking, I've often had really positive experiences doing luxury shopping. Because in really big cities where they've got like flagship stores, like for instance, like I live in SF now, that's where a lot of flagships are. I also used to live in New York. There are a lot of flagships there. Um, I've done shopping in Europe too. So again, a lot of big cities. And big cities are often, you know, they've got like a higher cost of living. Um, the folks there have a little bit more money because like big cities are really expensive to live in. So if you want to live there, you got to have the coins in order to be able to afford it. Um, and also, I think that those bigger cities also tend to be tourist destinations. And so I'm wondering if the reason like I've always had a good experience, I mean, as much as I can remember, is because like people don't really judge me for what I look like when I go into a store because I could be a tourist, I could be anybody, especially here in San Francisco, you cannot tell who has money and who doesn't because it's so casual here. So I don't know, I think because a lot of my luxury shopping has been done in these big cities, I've always had a good experience, but this negative experience actually happened when I went home over the holidays to North Carolina. A lot of you know, you know, I grew up there and I also moved back to a different city there when I was older. And so um, there's a mall there in the city that I used to live in. And it always had a few luxury shops. Like there was a Louis Vuitton, there was a Neiman Marcus. And even for a few years, there was an Hermes. It's a very small Hermes. But even when you went in there, the sales associates were really kind and really helpful. That Hermes did close down a few years ago before I left. So that's not there anymore. But there weren't like too many luxury shops in that mall. And I would say over the four years that I've been in San Francisco, you know, my girlfriends have told me like new luxury shops have opened up there. So they now have, you know, a Saint Laurent and a Gucci. And so I was so excited to go in and take a peek and see what those stores will look like back in, you know, a city that I lived in for many years. I won't get into like the specifics of which city exactly, but I was so excited to go. So I remember um, I was dressed one day, I had on like, you know, just like a nice cashmere sweater in like an oatmeal color, had on some black jeans. And it's funny because you're gonna be like, wow, Lily, like how did you remember all the details of your outfit so specifically? But I even like thought about what I was wearing after I left in case maybe that was the reason I was treated badly. But I don't think it was because I had on a Chanel classic flap, I had on Saint Laurent shoes, I had on several Hermes accessories, um, you know, my Chanel ring. So like overall, I, I, I think I looked nice, you know, I looked pretty much like I always do. Pretty plain, pretty understated, very like classic casual. You know, my hair was done. And it's funny because like, I go into the stores here either before or after a workout all the time. So I literally have purchased a Chanel bag while I was wearing a sports bra and leggings, you know? And it's it's been multiple times I've gone into stores like that here in San Francisco. So it's just funny because I would never think that my appearance would dictate how someone treated me here. Again, because it is such a casual city, but I guess in North Carolina, maybe things are a little bit more judgmental. 
I don't know. So I walk into the store and like, you know, no one comes to greet me right away, but honestly that, like, that's to be expected. This is a smaller city. It's a smaller boutique. It's not like a flagship like San Francisco where they've got, you know, so many different sales associates like lined up to help you. I'm like, y'all know me. I'm very like laid back. I can look after myself. So I figured I'd go like take a peek at some of the different bags that I wanted to try on um, and just kind of wait for someone to help me. And so like, obviously I wanted to try on the Aphrodite for those of you that saw my recent video about the new Gucci Aphrodite bag, you all know that I was really interested in the small size. So I wanted to try on both like the small plain black one and then also the small green and ivory ones with the chain with like the smaller Gigi logo on them. Um, I also want to try on some bamboo bags and I was excited because like as I walked in, I saw they had a lot of different colors and sizes of bamboo bags. And honestly, I also just wanted to like take a look around because, you know, what you see online is often different than what they have in store. And sometimes they have stuff in store that they don't have online. So I was like, I also want to see what else you have. Like, I don't always have to come in with a set game plan. And so um, as soon as I walked in, there was a huge like Aphrodite display, obviously being like Gucci's latest release bag. There's like a dedicated section for it. And a lot of the bags were unlocked. And so I decided to try on the small black one with the big GGs. And if the display was right here, there was a mirror right here. So I didn't have to walk far. You know, I just sat there like trying it on, you know, trying it on in all the different ways. And you know, it's kind of like posing and like, I'm a little extra, okay? Like I want to see it every which way. So like I was trying it on on my shoulder, like holding it in the crook of my arm, like whatever, whatever. And I was taking some photos and stuff. And um, someone came by and he was like, oh ma'am, like you can't take photos in here or videos in here. Like, you know, you're, you're not allowed. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like that was just for me, but like no big deal. Like I wasn't filming a shopping vlog or anything. It was genuinely like for me because I like to see my stuff at all different angles like before I make an expensive purchase of a few thousand dollars. And I was like, okay, no big deal, so sorry. Um, I just try on this bag. And he was like, oh, like, is anyone helping you? I was like, no, like no one's come by yet, but anytime that someone's available, like my name is Lily, I would love to have some help because there's like a lot of bags I want to try on. And he was like, oh, like, how'd you get that bag? And I was like, oh, it was unlocked. You know, I can put it back, but I figured since it was unlocked, like it wasn't a big deal. And like, I was standing right next to the display. It wasn't like I took it very far away or anything like that. And so, you know, when you just kind of get the vibe that someone's like being a little judgmental, being a little so-and-so, like I caught that vibe right away, but I'm the type of person, like I'm going to kill you with kindness if you're going to be mean to me. Like I'm never someone that serves up attitude with attitude. Like I think the best way is to like work through it and be nice, especially like sales associates. I mean, like they get handed like the worst attitudes all day. Like I am not someone that wants to be that way too. So I was like, oh, like, yeah, like just send someone over. Like he was like, someone will be with you in a few minutes. And so, you know, I'm continuing to like try on the black bag. I tried it on like the long ways, like with the long straps, so I could do it crossbody and like shoulder. And honestly, I didn't love it with the long strap. Like it just wasn't, it just didn't look good with my proportions. It felt too long. It also felt like the strap was too chunky for the bag. It felt like it was a bit too thick in my opinion. So I was just like, eh, like, ah, I'm not feeling it. And like, you know, he leaves me alone for like five or 10 minutes. It was not like just one or two minutes. He comes back by and he's like, oh, like, has anyone been by to help you yet? And I was like, no, not yet. I'm, you know, I'm here whenever, uh, like I'm done with this one, but I, I would love to try on the green or the ivory Aphrodite, you know, with the chain on it. And he was like, oh, well, what about this black one? You sure were spending a lot of time with it. Uh, you were like trying to take photos of yourself and everything. And I was like, yeah. I was, and I decided I didn't like it when I tried it on the long way. I was like, how am I supposed to know if I like it or not until I try it on? Like, I was like, but I would also would really like to try on, you know, the green or the ivory. So he gets me the green one and he leaves me alone for a few minutes and then he comes back. He's like, I just can't believe you didn't like that black one. I mean, seriously, you spent so much time with it. You were like obsessed with it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I I'm sorry. Like there was no one able to help me. So that was like the bag that I was trying on and I, I wanted to try it on and see if I liked it. I was like, I actually really do like, you know, the one with the chain a lot better. And I love this green color. Like I'm obsessed with green. And you know, he like helped me um, like make it long ways. And he, I can't remember exactly what else he said, but it was like some other like passive aggressive kind of like bitchy stuff. And I was like, oh my God, 
calm down, like stop being so rude. Um, and then she's like, okay, is there anything else you want to try on? And I was like, actually in the exact same color, I would love to try on like the mini bamboo bag. And I also really love it in this like periwinkle blue color they had. And he was like, oh, well you can only have one bag at a time. I was like, no big deal. I'll just try on the green bamboo bag then. Like I need to try them all on before I decide, you know, if I like any of them and which ones I like. And it was just like, it was really rude. And so he helps me with that one. He brought up something about the black bag again. Like he just kept going back to the black bag and it was so strange. And then he needed to go check on someone. So he left me alone for a few minutes. And I was like, oh, thank God I could like try on the bag in peace. Then another sales associate comes by, a different one from sales associate one. This is now sales associate two. And sales associate two comes off very nice, very kind. And he's like, hey, I know that sales associate one was helping you, but I know he's like checking on someone else right now. So I just wanted to see like if, if there's anything I can help you with until he comes back. And I was like, I like whispered to him, I was like, to be honest, can you just be the person that helps me? Like I'm feeling very uncomfortable and like a little bit awkward with sales associate one. Like he's just making me feel very strange. And so I would just, you know, can you just be the person that helps me? And sales associate two was like, I completely understand. Trust me, like this is not the first time. I am happy to help you, don't worry about it. And he um, helps me then like swap out the straps on the bamboo bag because there's like a skinny strap and then there's also like a thick seatbelt strap. And I like the skinny strap, you know, it's a nice green leather strap and it matched, you know, the bag. Um, but I wasn't crazy about the seatbelt strap because it was like red, white, and blue, which I know that's like a thing from Gucci, but it just, it's not really me. And it also really didn't go with the vibe of a green bag, in my opinion. It's like a bright Kelly green. And so, you know, we're talking about it and he's like, yeah, he's like, that doesn't really look like you, but it looks really good with the green strap. And then sales associate one comes over and he again talks about the black bag and just makes me feel like a freakazoid for trying it on. And then he's like talking to me about the a red, white, and blue strap. And he's like talking to me about like how comfortable it is to wear. And I was like, oh, I totally appreciate that. I do love like a good thick strap. It's just not really like my personal style. It's not my vibe. And then he's like trying to put it on me. And he's like, I mean, you really should consider it. It's like quintessential Gucci, like making me feel so bad. And I just felt so awkward. And I, the other sales associate, sales associate too, like just stepped in and he's like, yeah, you know, like we're going to try on some other bags. Like we got this. And then, you know, sales associate one walks away. And then for the rest of the time, I'm with sales associate two. Brings me a glass of champagne, lets me try on like four bags at once. I literally fell in love with a bag I hadn't seen before. And it's actually like a Diana wallet on chain and it was in Python. So it's this small little like nudish, um, like creamy beige and brown like Python bag. And it's so small, it's just got like a little wooden handle at the top. Seriously, I think it's beautiful. It's pretty expensive. It's like four or $5,000, something like that. So I don't know if I wanna spend that much on like a little baby bag because it also had zero card slots on the inside. But I just had a lovely time working with sales associate too. You know, he's like, you're so much fun. Here's my contact info. Do you wanna come back by, you know, before you leave? Like so nice. And so I would guess like, I don't know. The point of me sharing this is like one, this just shows like the difference in the way like sales associates can treat you and how it can really have an overall impact on your experience. Like sales associate too totally turned it around and like made me so happy and made me feel good again. But sales associate one treated me so badly and I just don't understand what I did wrong. Like I do not understand what I did to offend him. Like. I was very kind to him. I know that obviously like a lot of us, we've not like hang out in person, but like I really try to treat people with kindness. Like I waited tables for years. I worked in retail too. And so like, I don't think I was mean to him. I wasn't like taking a photo of the store. I was just taking a photo of myself, which every luxury boutique lets you do. Like, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I have tried to film shopping vlogs in certain boutiques and like, depending on that day and the person that's in there, they're like, sorry, ma'am, you know, no filming in here, um, like of the store, but like you can obviously take like photos and videos of yourself trying stuff on. Like that's totally fine. Cause they understand that like, that's how people buy stuff now. So like, I don't think it was that, I don't know what was going on. Maybe he just thought I was like <laughs> ridiculous for trying on a bag for like 10 minutes because I was unattended and couldn't try on any other bags. But, I don't know, it really hurt my feelings. And the funny thing is, 
I went home that day and I was staying with one of my girlfriends and her mom was over. And I was like, you're not gonna believe like the experience I had at Gucci. I felt so like awful. And they were telling me they don't even shop in the, the local like luxury boutiques because they treat people so badly. And this friend, by the way, that I'm talking about, she's extremely wealthy. Like she's like the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, you know, like she has an incredible life, like her and her family. And so it was funny because even she does not shop at that Gucci or the Saint Laurent and doesn't really enjoy the Neiman Marcus either because like they just don't treat people so well. And so I don't know, I don't know the whole thing. I Clearly my feelings are very hurt about it. Now, obviously it's just one person, right? And you're supposed to just like let it roll off your shoulders. But it just like also really made me think about a lot of times you all have said like how badly you felt when you've gone into a luxury boutique and someone who has treated you badly. So I just wanted to share my experience to let you know that you are not alone. It happens to all of us, but that is just because there are certain sales associates who are bad apples like sales associate one, but there are also lots of good apples like sales associate two who can really make your day. So don't ever get turned off from a brand if like someone treats you like sales associate one, because for every sales associate one, there are like 10 more sales associates too. So always give the brand another chance because at the end of the day, those brands and those sales associates are there to make money. And generally speaking, the way you do that is by being kind to people. So. I don't know, just for what it's worth, just sharing my two cents on that. But anyways, I will quit moaning and groaning now, but if any of you all have ever had any poor experiences in a luxury boutique, please share them down in the comments below. You know, I do wanna hear about them, and kind of hear about the treatment that a lot of other folks are getting too, because honestly it is ridiculous. And if we're spending that much money on something in the store, I do think that we should be treated well. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed hearing it, hearing my story. And if you did, I would really love it if you could just give this video a little like. Just give a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping or getting rejected from shopping <laughs> delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, everyone.